Hello there, and welcome to a new episode of our Typhoon Rising campaign in Gravity Team Tactics Muse Front. Today we are continuing the fight that we started the previous week. So, just to recap what happened. In this fight, a German platoon tried to advance on our left flank, and now they are all lying there in a big heap because they got ambushed. In turn, our scouts got shelled with artillery pretty hard, and right now, we are trying to formulate a plan to continue this fight and bring it to the enemy's support weapons. Okay, everybody here, you are all free to engage the enemies at this point. Also, the scouts in the cemetery are in a good position to fight them. Yes, they are. And there is no more enemy... Wait a second, guns in the distance shooting, and the scouts can actually see that thing. Now if the scouts can see that thing, that's the light infantry gun battery. Do I move up the T-50s to a position next to the cemetery from where they might be able to engage that battery? How far is this away from here? Almost two kilometers. That's a lot. That's too far for the T-50s to engage. Now I'm going with the other plan. I'm moving tanks around the flank here. Okay, I will take one unit of the T-50s. You two guys are still okay. Oh, there is another gun. Oh no, that's the guns on the bump. Okay, we are fine. I will move these two tanks over to the left flank and together with the two command T-34s which are standing by here they will all together move to the left flank and roll up the enemy's rear rank without being fired at by these guns, I hope. Okay, you guys uh, get a move on. These two T-50s, they are not fresh. This one only has two crew members, which is ridiculous. This one at least has three. But I think for uh, for this attack, they will do just fine. The purpose of the attack is to take out the enemy rear ranks and to relieve the pressure on my tank that is stuck here. This one is also being shot at and has received some hits. drive a little bit, come on. Don't just stand there. Yeah, he has received some hits. But everybody is fine. Just a little bit of damage. No big deal. The enemy here is not making any headway through these fields. I have a Maxim machine gun here in position. It was positioned so that it can rake the road. But with those light infantry guns in the distance, I don't believe that this position is healthy for this Maxim gun. So I might move it back. Might move it back a bit into position. Although at the moment they are not in danger. So for the moment I'll leave them here. T26, you are still here in the field. I think you can support a bit better. Drive closer. This infantry unit, they have taken some losses. 10 men. It's still okay. It's still okay. They're still fine, they're holding these houses, not allowing the enemy to get in here. Okay, the enemy has moved his guns across the bump. So there might soon be guns shooting at this tank, if I'm not careful. Or at this immobilized tank over here. Guess at that angle he might even be able to defend himself against these guns. Okay. 
Okay, T50s are moving through the town. Driving up to join these two T34s. Question is, do I bring infantry along? Can I spare somebody? Can I spare anybody for this attack? This unit is basically out in terms of ammunition, more heavy artillery. The heavy artillery is proving to be annoying. But okay, the T26 does say it is broken, it is damaged. Light strike chassis. Still okay. Gotta be careful with those guns. They are more heavy artillery. Let's have the tank drive forward a bit. Just to throw off this artillery observer's aim. If he can still drive, that is. No, he's immobilized now. God damn it. I was too late. The track is broken. Yes, the track is. The track is broken. Damn it. Okay, that tank is immobilized in a. Not too great position. But here, the T-50s have joined up with the T-34s. Now the question is, is there anybody here who I can still spare for an attack? Let's see, you guys are sitting here and I think you are all low on ammunition. You guys are holding the defense over there, I cannot spare you. So the answer is no. I could bring over some scouts from that flank. But I feel like they are in pretty good positions and I want to leave them there for the moment. So the tanks will have to do it alone. Or I bring these five scouts with me that I still have over there. That might work. Okay, tanks. You will move up the road to here. They will thunder across this field, because this field is behind this low hill over there. So we are, s we are secure in that the enemy anti-tank guns at the bump won't be able to spot my tanks, or even fire at them. And we should be able to get all the way around these guys to kill off the mortars and the light infantry guns. It might break the whole enemy attack. And to be honest, not a moment too soon when I look at this. Five scouts. Guys, um, move back towards the crossroads. The tanks will pick you up there. This is the driver of your cruise truck. However, the truck is here. I'll get him to... Uh, I'll get him close to the truck, maybe he will recover and reoccupy the truck and I can drive it out of here. Wouldn't be a bad thing. Two tanks are still holding. Oh, I will need so many repairs after this. But it's fine. I have four tanks advancing down the road now. Two T-34s and two 50s. That should be enough to kill the mortars and the light infantry guns. Let's watch this for a moment. The little tank that could. tank that could. Really nice little tank. I'm glad that I played this campaign as the Soviets even though it is a very hard campaign and I doubt that I'll be able to win it. 
but um, having the chance to play with these little things is really fun. Oh, look at that artillery in the distance. My god. They are really shelling those two tanks. They are throwing everything at them. But that's okay. That's okay. They are welcome to do that. The tanks can take the punishment. To a degree. And I'll be able... To get my tanks around and to hit them. They have now moved both of these guns up. They are now on our side of the bump. I don't know where they will move them to, but I think my scouts here have eyes on them. I still cannot tell what I'm looking at though. The bump is a really good position for uh, placing guns on. I'm impressed that the AI has chosen that placement. It's really smart. Are you stuck? No. T-34 can't be stuck. There you go. The road is terrible. But it is a road. Can you imagine that in Eastern Europe, Russia, Ukraine, to some extent also the other nations that are closer to the center of Europe. There are still a lot of roads that look like this. Especially roads leading to small villages or something like that. I think that's absolutely incredible. If you look at this road, you need an off-road vehicle to drive on it. This one is decorated with a red star. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, tanks are here now. I will have you guys run over here because I'll get you onto the last tank. You will ride along. Get in. I know you have endured much in this battle already, but I need you one more time. Get onto the tank. How's the situation? Okay. Enemy is advancing up this road apparently and some strength yeah okay I don't know how they made it into this area without me seeing them but they are here and that's bad this tank you are free to engage go get him before they overrun you, and I might take these scouts and move them back to support. Yeah, that's exactly what I'll do. Move there, and then move covertly to there. Do I bring the unit from the cemetery to the other side? Might not be a good, uh, a bad idea to bring them in this direction. 
So the tank seems to be dealing with that infantry right now. That's a scouting group here. That's not a full-fledged assault. I would have spotted a full-fledged assault. Just a scouting group. Okay, the infantry has mounted the tank. Mostly. Where's everybody? Uh, you five guys. Anybody else who's not on the tank? It says waiting. Oh, yeah. Some of you are still not on... Come on, guys. Take you off cautious movement. Please hurry up. Get on the tank. I want to move out. This battle won't end otherwise. Okay, I have enemy infantry behind my tank here. So moving these guys is a good thing. And actually, I will allow them to fire on enemies that they spot. Because they will run into them. Still enemies alive in this garden. This is incredible. That's the situation here. The last two guys are moving towards the tank. I guess the artillery landing nearby is freaking them out. I can't blame him after what they have experienced. Yeah, must be the artillery that's freaking them out right now. And I really can't blame them. I really can't. They were shelled to bits over here. I don't know if it was a mistake to attack with the scouts. I felt that it might have avoided more destruction by this artillery because I was basically moving forward when the artillery started to land. So I doubled down on that instead of moving backwards through the artillery again. But a lot of them got killed because of the artillery over here in this forest. Okay, everybody is now on the tank, yes? Yes, okay, we can start. Unit destroyed who? How? How are you destroyed? Yeah, okay, the, the gun is out. The gun is out. They're abandoning the tank. Okay, then it's time for these guys to do their move. I want you guys to move up the road. And then... I want you to move... fast... to here. Somebody is retreating. It's the tank crew. Oh, look at you! Why can you suddenly drive? You... Okay, these, these guys are getting killed. There's still too much enemy infantry nearby. They're not surviving this. They're not getting out. Very unfortunate. So we are losing one tank. That's extremely unfortunate. But nothing that there's nothing that we can do right now. These guys are still we are moving cautiously. Actually, I don't want that right now. And I did tell you guys that you are free to engage. Go and kill these guys here. Make sure that this enemy patrol is not capturing any ground over here. Okay, you have made contact. I hesitate to move this tank over to this side to support them because of the anti-tank guns on the bump. However, if I park it here, you should be fine. So yeah, you'll go and hunt those guys. Just hunt them down. Tank attack. It's going well. The tank crew over there has died. This tank is still under fire from the mortars. 
all the light infantry guns. You know what, once you are over there, I'll retreat you back to the village. Now that you can move again, for some weird reason. Lights and track damage. Did you get out and repair the track or something? I can't believe it. Well, whatever. It's fine. Just move back towards the village and provide protection there. So once you are there, face down the road. Okay, the scouts in the tank are being shot at by who? Oh, those enemies. Now, why are you not moving now? What is wrong with you? I hope you do move. Yeah, there he goes, okay. I could park him on this road and just continue to shoot at these guys. Yeah, do that. Shoot them for a little bit longer. To open up the way for this unit here. Okay, the tank has spotted the guns. That's good. And over here I hear the nice sound of clanging hammers. The guys are repairing the track of their tank, which will make it mobile again. It will just take some time. That's good. That's very good. That's exactly what I need right now. Okay, this tank is keeping this infantry busy for the moment. I approve. You... Can you see them? You saw the guns for a moment, I think, but you can't see them anymore. They're in the bushes now. The scout unit, uh, you are moving too quickly for my liking. Do move cautiously, please. You have taken two losses. Maybe consolidate here. This tank is in a good position. Okay, this attack group has moved up to here. Now I want to move them across this area, which I can move them behind this forest. That might be the better idea. Or is that already off the map? Might be. No. Then I'll move them behind the forest. Once you are there, you will move up to here. Just get a move on before the mortar shells start to land. I guess your position is being relayed to the mortars right now. Maybe those mortars are out of ammunition. It's not impossible. Okay, that T-34 is engaging the guns, which is good. I approve very much. I have machine guns opening up on this group. Although I did not order this machine gun to open up, but... Well, it's actually... Actually not them shooting. Yeah, okay, the guns are shooting back towards my tanks. Looks like they are trying to hit the T-26. The crew got back inside. I doubt that they managed to repair the track. No, the track is still busted. So this tank is in a terrible position. How can they even spot it? Can you guys at least turn the tank towards them? Mm. 
no, both tracks are done for. Well, that's bad for your health. As soon as one of those guns hit the tank, it's done. I can only hope that maybe the T-34 will get eyes on. Scouts here are still defeating these guys. These guns seem to move towards this tank. Maybe in the hopes of taking it out. My scouts. I will now move them to mop up the last remaining enemy soldiers here. That will be the end of the enemy patrol. Here I still have my tank engaging the enemies with machine gun fire. That's awesome. Damn, I'm a bit sad that I lost one tank over here. And it was a fresh tank, basically, so that hurts even more. Look at that. Did you get shot at by anti-tank guns, by chance? Not sure. Okay, here the truck, uh, the driver has recovered his wits. So I will... I will move you. I will move you to here. And then you will continue moving... Oh! Okay, artillery coming down on the village. I do not like that. Move the truck to safety. I lost another truck because of the artillery. My tanks are still making their move around. And over there are the enemy mortars. I will disembark the scouts here, they will move through the forest and get eyes on. Oh yeah, we do have mortars landing. Disembark right now. Scouts, you are not free to fire. I want you guys in the forest. Not executed, damn it. Command points, come on. Go there. And I'll have the tanks attack. Ceasefire. There it is. Now they're offering it. Now that I'm threatening their real line. Well, I have a few things that I want to finish first. First of all, the scouting group will die. There is no question about that. I will kill them off. They will not survive this. I don't know about these two anti-tank guns. I don't think I will be able to kill them. Okay, you are once again repairing the T-26. That's good. Please repair the tracks. At least one of them. One of them would be enough to turn the tank at least. Okay. More shooting happening here. That's just back and forth. That's okay. Scouting group is... Did not apparently receive the order to go there. Thanks. You will attack, you will stay fast, you will go into lines, bars, and wedge formation. Like that. And then go and attack over there. Take them out. I might also have them hold somewhere here in these tree lines and just. I might detach a tank, maybe a T-34, to focus on the light infantry guns. Because those things, they are not anti-tank weapons, but they do have heat shells that they can use at middle to short range. I will see. Right now the tanks are on the move. That's what counts. goal is to seriously cripple the enemy. Okay, the anti-tank guns are once again shooting towards the T-26. For now, they are not hitting it. 
I might lose another tank here. Although a tank of questionable worth. It's not a good tank. This tank here. Is there something that I can do with you? You are still basically engaging targets of opportunity. If I drive you in this direction and maybe over to here, will you be able to shoot at the light infantry guns? You might be perfect for that task. That's precisely what I'll do with you. It's a bit risky. But it will work. I hope. The tanks are waiting for the final tank to get in position. And now they are starting their attack move towards the mortars. How many high explosive shells? Oh, you have plenty. 16 high explosive shells remaining. Your main target are those light infantry guns. Take them out and I will be very happy with you. The enemies still have a truck that is manned. Oh man, I have bad news for that driver. Look at this T-34 go. The mobility of these things is astonishing. It just is. It's awesome. Okay, there's infantry nearby, so we'll have to be a bit careful with this tank. Also, another gun has been spotted over there. I think in this position he will be hidden behind this hill, yes. He will, however, be able to engage those light infantry guns. As soon as he has taken those out, he can retreat. Okay, the AT guns are still engaging these two tanks. And my scouts here have been detected. Now, I don't want that. You guys have basically nothing in the way of ammunition. Retreat. And then run back to the cemetery, fall back. Good, suppress the enemy and now run please. Okay, the tanks, yeah, the tanks are assaulting. Very awesome. You are engaging who knows what. I want you to engage those damn guns. Can you spot them? Yes, you can. And you are shooting towards them now. Excellent. Excellent. His purpose is to suppress these things so that they cannot focus on this tank group. This tank group, by the way, which is now free to open up on anything that it sees. For example, the mortars. Go get them. These mortars have done enough trouble. It's time to finish this. Oh, there is a gun shooting over there. Oh, actually... Uh oh Multiple... Oh, crap, what the hell is that? Oh, those are huge artillery guns. So this is the heavy artillery that has been plaguing me. Oh my god. That just smacked this tank. Oh my god. Okay. These things have just become main targets for everybody. 
I didn't know that they have these things over here. Go and kill him. Kill those things. Yeah, even that tank is joining in, that's fine. Let's take a quick look at these things. Look at that. Siege guns, basically. I think those are French. Captured guns. But devastating. Really devastating. This is a huge caliber gun. So guys, please do kill them. There's two of those. Oh, that one just received a direct hit. That will mess them up. Another direct hit. Yeah, you need to suppress those. Yeah, that's good. Keep shooting them. I don't know what you are engaging. Stupid truck. To be honest, I uh, don't care about that stupid truck. Please get those guns gone. Drive up there and smack it. Tank, what are you doing? I did tell you to engage those things, right? Please kill them, because they're right now shooting at my tanks, and I don't appreciate that. I have one tank that is immobilized, and has lost one crew member. He has received a direct hit from one of those siege guns, which has stripped the track. But it's fine, I will have a ceasefire in effect. The tank will be recovered. Also, what's the scouting group doing? They are arriving where I wanted them to. Unit lost, who? Oh, they finally got the tank. What happened to you guys? Did you all die? Yeah, shit. The crew died. That's unfortunate. But it's not too surprising. Uh, now this tank. What do I do with you to make you useful and to make you actually shoot at those guns over there? Let's drive you closer. I hope that doesn't open me up to flank shots from the anti-tank guns. It shouldn't. They are in a little ravine over there. I think I've taken out the siege guns. The light infantry guns are shooting. Don't want to give them an opportunity here. Attack towards them. I think both guns have been defeated. Both the siege guns are gone. I thought I, w I was being shelled by off-map artillery. If I had realized that they have these heavy siege guns in the back line here, I would have done this attack sooner. Might have saved me that tank over there that got killed. You too. Target those infantry guns. And actually go and engage them. Okay, one has been taken out. Excellent.
Can you see that gun? You should be able to. Stop shooting at some puny infantry soldiers who are fleeing. Oh, this guy just burned to death. He's an officer, so that's fine. Oh, there's still somebody on the gun. Yeah, one crew member is still here. It's not too important. There's nothing that he can do. And in fact, I'll have this tank attack up here. Guys, please focus on this gun if possible. They're shooting at some poor infantry soldiers. Who are not really worth the effort. Now you're focusing on that gun. Is it a light infantry gun? Yes, it is. Knew it. Okay, the gun is suppressed. If not outright destroyed by now. Yeah, that looks very much destroyed. So, okay, we have done it. Those guns are gone. There's another gun back here. Don't know exactly what that is. Might be an anti-tank gun. Indeed it is. It cannot shoot at my tanks because they are behind a rise. Let's have this tank stop. Could double back and make sure that all the mortars are dead, but... At this point, I think they basically are. We smashed through this unit. As you can see, there might be a few guys left here and there, but the majority is dead. Oh, look at that. There's the battery crew. The tank can pick them off. Yeah, okay, we'll let the tank play a bit. There's an officer. I hope he has just been killed. Enemy contact. Oh, guys, that might be a mistake. The T-34 is finally getting eyes on you. As you are moving across that open field. Let's have him engage. You see those guys over there in the distance? He's now engaging them. Just put a high explosive shell into their group. We might have a chance to take out an entire tank gun here. At this range they can do nothing against the T-34. Come on, keep shelling them. They're trying to move the gun. Okay, it seems to be a bit too far away for the T-34, unfortunately. He cannot spot them very well. That's my guess. Although, yeah, his, his view is a bit disturbed. But still, they're, they're moving out in the open and I can bring in another tank to deal with them from up here. Though by parking the tank up here, it would open it up to this. Guys, having the tank move around this side might be better. Okay, this tank has regained sight, maybe? Yeah, intermittently. S trying to get eyes on. 
I hope he can send a high explosive grenade their way. There it flies and there it lands. That didn't look bad. Actually, that looked quite good. He might have just killed them. Yeah, the gun is gone. Gun has been messed up. Very nice. Over here we are still slowly decimating individual enemies. Everybody conserve ammunition. The tanks here are just going wild. Barn building is gone. I think at this point we might go ahead and accept the ceasefire. The enemy is moving towards the crossroads over there, I don't care. I feel as if we have destroyed the enemy's main strength in this battle. This whole attack group has been mauled and their very important support weapons are gone. Without their support weapons, I can continue to cut them to ribbons in the coming battles. Yeah, we're accepting the ceasefire now. So here come the last 30 seconds. Excellent battle. Yes, I did lose a few tanks. But one of them was a T26, I don't know. Is this off map? Or do they have another battery somewhere? I think this is off map. So they had both, okay. Okay. And there we go. So, oh, an achievement. Order of Kutsus of third class, nice. Okay. Casualties 46, the enemy 157, so very much in my favor this battle. We decimated them. We did. But okay, let's take a good look on the battlefield and see what we really achieved and what happened to my tanks. The growth has been lost. So most likely another enemy infantry unit had moved in here and is now controlling this. Maybe I should have moved those scouts towards the growth to secure that. However, it is of no huge consequence. I held on to what was important to me and I even managed to capture this area over here simply with my presence. That's good. That's very good in fact. Okay, let's take a quick look at my tanks. What happened? You you got shot at a bunch, but just by bullets. There was something, 7 point centimeter. Um, light grenade, 18. Okay. So you were shot by one of the light infantry guns, but you survived. This T-34 is damaged a lot. He was hit by a 155 mm shell, partial penetration, just because of the blast wave, to be honest, not because of a real armor penetration. The loader has been taken out, the turret has been damaged and the engine as well. Let's have a quick look, turret mechanism and engine, yeah. Also a track is broken and everything. 32 man repair hours. Uh, so that means this tank is out for this campaign. The scout units, they got really mauled. Commander survived. I hope that's the commander. Not sure. Then these four guys survived, but with barely any ammunition. These four are still alive. And well, then this whole squad has been killed. Very unfortunate but if we look quickly at this this squad before they were killed killed 24 enemies these guys killed 10 these guys killed 15 and even this guy killed four so you can see how much damage they did to the enemy yes i lost this scouting group but um i can replace them with another i think and they have done incredible damage to the enemy especially in this area here 
Look at this. It's a graveyard. Just look at this. So many dead Germans. A whole platoon was wiped out here. I'm pretty certain of that. Incredible. Incredible performance. Back to our tanks. This T-34 is fine. This one here. He still needs repairs. He did not get to fight in this battle. He could have, but um, he needs more repairs. This T-34 is immobilized because he doesn't have any fuel, so we need to get him some. And the T-26, unfortunately, lost to a 3.7 centimeter anti-tank gun. They had really nice side shots on this thing, and as you can see, two of those shots managed to penetrate. Even though they were shooting at a distance of uh, a kilometer. It's not a great tank. They only managed to kill one enemy. That's all. Let's have a quick look here. The abandoned T-34, the crew is dead. They managed to kill 22 guys. But they received direct hits from the 155mm siege guns. That's what killed this tank. Yeah. If I had known that they have these guns over there, I would have attacked sooner. Oh, these things are incredibly dangerous. This T-34 shot at a lot. Let's just say he was shot at a lot. Mortar hits on the engine deck even. But the track is a bit damaged. They did receive some hits from the light infantry guns. But nothing much happened. The tank is pretty much fine. Good. These T-50s, they did not get to fight. These scouts, they lost two men, which is absolutely all right. This is one of the tanks that was attacking here. I guess you were hit by something at least, yeah, but just by bullets. So this is fine. You are also fine. Thank you. And this one... You are fine as well. Which tank got disabled over there by the siege weapons? Oh, come on. You... Oh, oh, yeah. I had a look at you already. Yeah, okay. Good, okay. Those were my tanks. The infantry, you are okay. You did not get to fight, I don't think so. You were holding the left flank and no enemy got through to you. You guys were holding the center. You took two losses and your house got blown up. You took four losses, but you defended the side against the enemy attack through this field. And you killed... How many did you kill? Two. Yeah, that's not great. These guys lost four men, killed five. And you lost two men. Well, you could have done better, guys. Machine guns, I don't think you got to do anything. Yeah, this one killed one guy, but that's it. Okay, let's have a quick look at the enemies then. A telephone and cable squad was on the field. Somewhere over here in this direction, behind the bump. In the enemy's rear lines. Uh, 10th Motorized Infantry Division. 2nd Battalion Command. He was somewhere on the battlefield. A few of their squads got basically wiped. Their light infantry guns, this one has been abandoned. No crew left. This one is only damaged. So they might be able to repair it. They have three men remaining on this gun. With 14 man hours repair time. I don't think they will repair it in time, but... Could, it could be true. Where were these guys stationed? They are... They are a depleted unit. Oh, okay. They got to fight over here. They were basically taken out. The whole, the whole group is basically gone. So they were part of the ambush, I think. Who else? You... I guess you too were part of the ambush, if I look at these numbers. 
almost nobody is left alive. Most of them are dead. Pretty awesome flamethrower crew. Okay, I'm glad that we killed you. And here we come to the heavy guns. The heavy guns are not lost. Okay, so the enemy ha can recover these things. That's not good. However, this gun only has one crew member left and with 22 man repair hours, this thing isn't going anywhere and not doing anything anymore. This thing is out of the fight. To all intents and purposes, it is destroyed. Same story here. One guy alive, uh, six man repair hours. I don't think he will make it in time. And even if he does, uh, operating this gun alone, good luck. I don't think what else they had. I hope it was just these two guns. I think they had... They had two trucks. What else did they have here that I can't see? Maybe a machine gun for close protection. Mortars. This one has been abandoned. But this one is still okay and can be repaired. One guy is still alive. With eight man repair hours, I don't see him recovering this weapon anytime soon. The anti-tank gun here can be recovered, but uh, same fate basically. There's one guy alive. He's not doing anything with that gun anymore. And then we have some more combat engineers, which might have been part of that ambush over there. But I cannot see anything more. Okay, that was a very interesting battle, if you ask me, with a very nice opening. <laughs> this was amazing to watch. Them clumping up like this here and then just getting cut down by these soldiers with these sub-automatic machine guns. And then it all turned to shit when the heavy artillery started to land. <laughs> Without that heavy artillery, not a single German in this area would have survived this. I would have taken them all out. But the timely arrival of that heavy artillery saved them. Hmm. Same here in the town. If the heavy artillery hadn't disabled the T-26, it could have done much more damage to the enemy infantry here and they wouldn't have been able to kill so many of these guys. Quick look at the achievements. We received the Order of Kutsus of 3rd Class, awarded to unit commanders for achieving major success during combat operations. Nice! Okay, that's awesome. That's very awesome. But with that said, let's get back to the operation and see what we actually achieved. Okay, battle group defeated. One of mine, I think, or what? Did I have a battle group here? No, I don't think so. Or did I? No, I don't think so. Anyway, the enemy is now close to the village. The question is, what will they do next? Will they capture Zolkevshina down here? I'm quite amazed that they didn't do so already. I wonder if I should maybe move this infantry unit towards the town and just have them hunker down there and hold it at all cost for the last few turns. But okay, I think we will advance. Oh, I think we will advance to the next turn together so that we can see what awaits us next time. So let's do that. Oh, here we go. 1st October 1941, 10 o'clock. In the morning of the 1st October, units of the German 4th Tank Division, operating along the roadway glukov sevsk finished clearing the forest northeast of Kruglaya Polyana. They fired at a retreating Soviet column, knocking out two tanks of the 150th Tank Brigade, of which one T-50 tank was burned. Okay. Okay, okay, all right. So at this point, that was the historical situation. This is how it looked. So at this point, the 4th Tank Division down here in the south is still pushing um, northeast. While the... Oh, didn't want to do that. While the units, the uh, other German units that we have been fighting this whole time, had already achieved a capture of Koklovka and the capture of Czernoje. And the Soviet units, the 150th Tank Regiment and the 150th Tank Brigade, together with the 283rd Rifle Division, were in full retreat towards Kinelsevsk and Machinika Buda. 
So we are doing better than the Soviets did historically, in the sense that we are able to hold our ground. Some repairs are being performed. Uh, ammunition. I need that ammunition up here, please. Rearm two squads. Ammo. Can I get that ammo up to my tanks? I need to get this commander up north to rejoin the tanks so that he can distribute some of that ammunition. Okay, how is the situation looking? We are just barely still in the game for for a victory. Hmm. We would need to we would need to kill many more enemies for this to work and we are not allowed to lose anybody ourselves. Nah. Nah, I'm not winning this. If I can hold on, that will be an achievement. But okay. You see the situation as it will await us next time. And I can tell you something right now. I think that we now have air support in this turn. Because if I take a quick look up here... Uh, forces list, air squadron, two arrived. They are finally arrived. So maybe we will get some much needed air support to knock out the enemies. But that we will see next time. For now, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed today's episode. It has been an interesting one, I think. Quite an awesome battle. And I'm looking forward to seeing you again next time. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Let me know in the comments what you think about the battle. And goodbye.